How about you and I? We have a quick chat about the lack of motivation in this crazy business we call real estate. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, I'm Sebastian Malinowski, and I create videos for real estate agents to help them grow their business through marketing so they never have to do any old school prospecting again. If this is something that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing. Let's move on, Bob. Now this video was sparked by a Facebook message I received yesterday, and it all had to do with motivation, and I'll read it to you later. Here's a common pattern that I see. It happened with me years ago when I got my real estate license, and I see this still today. Before you get licensed, what happens? You have visions of this incredible business that you're growing, visions of money just falling on you, everything being happy. You take family vacations, you buy the things that you want. Heck, you may even want a second home. Yeah, let's not forget you work for yourself, you take all the time off that you want, and you're just generally a happy person. But somewhere along the line, things really do change, don't they? You agree with me, right, Bob? Yeah. The question is why? Why do things change? That's really the million dollar question here. And of course, when things change, because now reality hits you straight in the face, your motivation level tends to dip down with it. Or more like, fall off the cliff with it. Let's see, you work 80 hour weeks, often without anything to show for it. The money, yeah, it just simply isn't coming in. Family and vacations, yeah, they go on the back burner, don't they? Let's not forget the coaches out there are telling you the only way to succeed in this business is to pick a street, pick up the phone and start dialing for dollars. You don't wanna sell your home, but I need a commission check. In other words, our reality doesn't match our expectation. The work reward ratio is way off. We end up putting this much work into our business, which most of it we hate, and the reward, the income, well, it's just kind of down here. And I was there too. I understand exactly what that feels like. I know what it's like to go from super high motivation level to somewhere along the lines, motivation level that's like negative 100 non-existent. I knew that I had to change something in this business. My motivation level wasn't there and I hated every moment of my business. I literally remember waking up every morning, hoping, wishing, maybe today is the day that my motivation level is going to go up a couple of notches. That never happened. Come back motivation. Let me see you one more time. The reality was something just had to change. I remember one day waking up and of course, zero motivation. And I started asking myself different questions, but the questions weren't how can I become a better cold caller? Because those were the questions I used to ask myself and it led to, well, no motivation. I started asking myself questions like, how can I make this business fun again? where I enjoy waking up every morning with super high motivation level. Motivation where I didn't have to artificially inflate or get this into my system somehow, knowing that it was always temporary. How can I create permanent motivation where I didn't really have to work at it that much? Now, those were the questions that I started asking myself. I fired my real estate coach and I started regrowing my business. And that's where the digital mayor concept was born. Did my motivation level change? Ah, uh, heck yeah. It was like night and day. It was at the point where I couldn't control my motivation level and none of it was fake. I woke up motivated and I went to bed motivated. It was weird, it was strange. I never actually experienced anything like it. My daily activities changed. I went from chasing leads to now attracting leads. And I know what you're asking, why? What was different? What changed? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, check this out. I simply stopped focusing about myself and started focusing on my community. I went out into my community and I promoted the very community that I wanted to work in. I started reaching out to local businesses and I started promoting them, literally it started on Facebook. 
I started reaching out to local influencers as well. Do you think I started getting noticed by people in my community? Yeah. Do you think the referrals started coming in? Yeah. I noticed myself also working less hours. I didn't have to be on the phone cold calling, chasing leads. Now I was generating leads by becoming a local influencer, by creating content about my community. My income started going up. I started taking vacations with my family. I was able to focus on my family a lot more. I simply started enjoying life again. Did it affect my motivation? Of course it did. It was almost like I didn't have to do anything to keep my motivation going. It just naturally stayed high. I'm gonna read this to you in one second. Here's one thing I can tell you, and I'm sure you already know this. I don't have to tell you this like it's new news. Motivation is very temporary. Why do people go to conferences, for example? To get motivated, but that motivation is very temporary and you have to keep doing something to keep that motivation going. Wouldn't it be way easier? Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just keep your motivation up naturally where you don't have to rely on external factors to keep your motivation level high all the time consistently? That's what I was searching for in my business. I hate relying on something to keep boosting my motivation level because then you're constantly doing this. If you don't attend a seminar, it goes low, then you attend it and it temporarily goes high. I wanted to get away from that roller coaster ride. I wanted to create internal motivation that is constant. Okay, let me read this to you now. I'm not going to say who the agent is. I didn't ask him for his permission, but here it goes. Yo, Seb, I'm feeling like a kid on Christmas. I have several different businesses. Now, when he says businesses, he's not talking about their his businesses. School principals, the Little League, a new local swim club, and more all on board to be interviewed. I am gathering the right film guy to shoot and edit the interviews looking to put out a steady stream of content as the newly self-elected digital mayor of my local area. That's awesome. Thank you for all you do. I too watch and follow Gary V like you, which I do. I take a lot of things that he does and I implement them into my business. I just kept planning and pushing the start date out and it was you that made me push it forward. You're welcome. Thank you, brother. I may have a few simple questions in the future, but I wanted to thank you and tell you that six to eight months ago, I wanted to do something else after 18 years in the business. Now, how's that for low motivation? Now I feel like I'm reinventing my career, excited to see where this takes me. That is the point that I'm trying to make. Motivation for me came when I literally stripped myself away from the old school way of doing real estate. And I took on almost a new career, a new business. Well, it's a business, that's really what it is. I started doing business completely differently. And that's where everything changed. And that's why my motivation level went up and stayed up. I was having fun in this business again. Here's a question for you, and please put your answer in the comment section below. Has your motivation level been a roller coaster in the past? If it has been, why? Or has your motivation level always been consistently high? If it is, I want to know why. If there's anything else you wanna tell me about motivation and what keeps you motivated, I would also love to hear your answer. If you found this video valuable, please give me a like. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you do, don't forget that ringy-dingy bell button. Ready to wrap this up, Bob? He says yes. All right, we'll see you on the next one.